back to my channel if you're returning hey best friend and if you're new it's your girl Lele in the building and today we have another reading so go ahead get your drinkity drink get your snackity snack and let's get it popping now the motto of today is gonna be I am reclaiming territory so comment that down below I am reclaiming territory period so currently we do have this energy coming through first off let's get into the topic of discussion first real quick okay so people did not expect this from you you are a walking miracle comment that down below i am a walking miracle and that's exactly what you are darling um right now we have a lot of this energy it's been really intense lately dealing with folks and we have it's giving mercury retrograde vibes how ironic because Mercury is literally in retrograde currently and past people want to redo, but they ain't getting it. Okay. And we have super saying this isn't even my final form yet. Now let me show you, darling. Look at here. We have the three of swords, right? A lot of this ish is coming to the surface. This uncomfortability. Maybe it's, it's like that sense of either depression, but then it's transmuted into like, I'm hearing rage, but it's like being an alchemist and taking that energy and being, you know what? I ain't gonna be a victim. That's the vibe. Spirit saying, comment this down below. I am not a victim. I am victorious, period. Because clarifying the Three of Swords, we have the moon and we have the tower. So I'm hearing you thought that you were over this ish. You were you thought that you were over feeling this way. And it's, it's like this wound got reopened in a situation with some people, right? And right now, literally, this card comes out every single, I feel like every reading, okay? Just as God don't like ugly, right? You've dealt with a lot of injustice and people like just viewing you a certain way in a false light. It's a false light is what I want to go ahead and say. Because if something came to the surface emotionally, right? And it's like that inner child's wound came back to the surface again, right? Was crying. And it's like, it's given the vibes of like, you ended up taking the power back because we have healing looks good on you sis now you have space to shine and it's giving princess diaries vibes right now this season you are not playing the warrior has woken up within you and you're not playing the victim anymore and i'm hearing yeah you might have had a moment like i said like with that pain that hurt the thing that's been rehashed reopened but this is regardless we have the nine of wands with the emperor you are setting yourself free. You're setting the captives free. Comment that down below. I am setting the captives free right now, right? So this is an energy of like, you are really resilient in yourself. And this is the resilient wounded warrior. That's been your life story. And I'm hearing literally the underdog is over it. So comment that down below. The underdog is over it, period. Okay. So yes, people's brains are melted literally right now. Their brains are melted because they are surprised that you got back up and that you're winning the game of life. Comment that down below. I am winning the game of life, period. Okay, so now that you've you've sh literally shattered the idea of what they thought you were or who you thought who they thought you were, right? You have shattered that illusion, period. And spirit is saying they're literally speechless. Like they their brains are melted. They don't know how it's like now that it's been crumbled the illusion of what they thought you were has been i'm here deceased it's crumbled that old version of you is gone you have proven yourself time and time again that you are who you say you are you have taken ownership and responsibility for your life is what i'm hearing and there's nothing to prove to anybody anymore you've already proved it it's like that's why i said the underdog is over it right? And they didn't expect this from you. They didn't expect you to respond to life's challenges the way that you're responding. You're a warrior, okay? We literally have justice. So we had justice. God don't like ugly. So right now, I'm here. You're reaping the rewards in front of these people. And they literally, they're speechless is what Spirit's saying. So we have justice. We have the world in the reversal followed by the queen of wands. This is a season of soul retrieval for you, honey, okay? This is a season of soul retrieval. These people were always intimidated by your energy, right? And I'm hearing that your energy always made people feel uncomfortable because you, you're you like a glitch in the matrix is the energy that I'm feeling here. And currently with this justice, you're creating justice for yourself by rescuing yourself and not playing the victim. And like I said, it's given the energy is like you might have your moment by yourself right, where these energies come to the surface and it's uncomfortable and you're feeling, you know, the shadow trying to leak out and, you know, you might have felt, you know, you're really hard on yourself is what I'm hearing. So it's given the vibes of like, nobody can be as hard on, on you as you are to yourself. And you're learning how to overcome that currently. 
And like I said, you're doing a lot of this shadow work in the dark. Like not a lot of people see the side of you and you're not giving them the benefit of it either. You're not giving them the satisfaction to see the sides of yourself, right? Because they have seen you in a vulnerable state in the past is what I'm hearing. And you're not responding in that reactive way or you're not moving, you're, you're maneuvering differently right now is what Spirit's showing me here. Okay, so you're creating justice for yourself. This is a season of soul retrieval. You are victorious, period. We also have focused on the goal, tunnel vision, and feed the fire. So there's a lot of this Mars energy going on with you right now, where it goes it goes from the, I'm, hearing, I'm feeling this energy going from Pisces to Aries, which we are currently in Aries season, right? We have all these Aries transits. So it goes from this kind of like, your energy used to be kind of in this limp energy where it was kind of stagnant, not really sure what to do or where to go. And it's like this energy of that either emotion or anger or what have you that you've dealt with. You've really, you've, it's like that is your superpower to grab hold of that, to get ish done is what I want to say, okay? So we also literally, justice is on your side, reclaiming who you are, your right to the throne is what's coming through. And we have the Ten of Pentacles clarified the sun and the ace of wands you're back baby that's what i'm here you are back and you're not going anywhere these people thought that there's like they were trying to see if their inner some of these people were doing heavy spell work 11 11 on the clock just now as i said that all right so what i'm hearing is that they were out of alignment and doing that and they're having repercussions right now so they were sitting here they're doing the spell work or they were just heavily like focused on you and trying to see if you were gonna f up trying to see if you was just gonna you know reverberate back to who you used to be and you're proven time and time again that no i'm not that person anymore i have grace and compassion with that past version of myself but i don't have to respond to life's challenges the way i used to right with those old coping me mechanisms so we have like i said the ten of pinnacles the sun and the ace of wands so especially if you are a creative or if you're an entrepreneur it's given those types of energies like you're meant to move in this world differently and it's what your idea is what you got going on I'm hearing like just you being yourself is going to bring in abundance. That's what I'm hearing. You just being yourself is bringing in prosperity and abundance for yourself and stability. You're coming from a more stable place now. You've already learned those lessons. And like I said, their brains are literally melted currently. So we had that focus on the goal. Spirit saying stay focused, stay in your lane. And I know like Spirit saying every time, anytime, it's not all the time, but right now, currently in this season, they're really bothered by the fact that you're living your authentic purpose, your authentic lifestyle. I'm hearing lifestyle is different from what they're used to. And so, like I said, they've always tried to typecast. But the thing is, is that your energy is healing to people. It's like they can say what they want to say and typecast you. But regardless, like the proof has been in the pudding. Because you have a lot more fans than you do people who don't like you. That's what I'm hearing. You've healed your reputation. So we also have Uranus vibes, sudden and shocking events, epiphanies, and genius revelations. So you have woken up to the genius of who you are, right? And we have, you're the adult in the room, taking ownership and responsible. So you have taken ownership for your own life. You, It's like you're not sitting here showing them that you're weak and vulnerable i feel like in the past that's how they used to view you as like either weak or vulnerable or I'm, I'm hearing the word combative like they would be combative with you in situations but regardless like healing looks beautiful on you period come on that devil my healing is beautiful it is and you are reclaiming territory you might be like simplifying or throwing old clothes out that you don't wear uh cleaning your space is the vibe it's like you're expanding your territory currently you're allowing yourself to stretch and to take up space and allowing your energy to affect your environment instead of letting other people affect your environment right it's like people try to put their intrusive thoughts about what you got going on or they come in and say, oh, well, I think you should reorganize it this way. And it's no, I'm hearing you're not accepting gifts from certain people. You know who they are. Their true colors is another message, right? So like this is an energy of like when you were down and out, like they really showed who they were to you. And now that you're finding the success and you're finally rising to the top in your own individual life and taking ownership as a role model, a leader, we also have, like I said, we have that emperor energy, right? You were, it was always you and you who had you in the universe, God's your spirit, your guardian angels is what spirit showing me here. And so like, this given the vibes of like your divine masculine, like that was always your strong suit. Right. And now you're coming to a beautiful balance between your masculine and feminine where you're allowing yourself to like, I'm hearing ease up. 
of your ease up because it was really, really stressful for you to sit there and have to, you know, always, you're always the one having to rise up and take ownership for things, step up to the plate while everybody else sat their little, you know, what's down. And right now it's like, they want to come up and be like, oh, I knew you back in the day. What's happening? It's like, no, you can go ahead and take a seat. You can go ahead and sit back in your little spot. I didn't call for you, right? That's the energy. Like if you didn't call for them, don't accept it. Like, did you call for that, uh, for that, constructive criticism that's another message for somebody you might have had somebody who tried to give you constructive criticism but they're not coming from a place of love right this season you're finally realizing like i'm not soaking in anything that's not from the divine i'm not picking up i'm not picking up what you're dropping period that's the message coming through so any more with these downloads here okay so yeah, they kept waiting to see if you were going to give up. That's the energy I'm feeling here. Like they're like, oh, they got it going on right now, but just wait, just wait. They're going to, they're going to flop or they're going to give up like they always do. Right. Oh, it's, it's also giving the vibes of like your consistency. Like you're learning how to be more consistent in yourself. And they're like, oh, they're going to drop off the face of the earth eventually. Like, oh, they're good. They're going to get bored with uh, being better. They're going to get bored with their exercise regimen. They're going to get bored with that new business idea and venture. It's like, no. You've set roots down for yourself. You're the adult in the room, literally. You have stepped into your own adulthood in the most beautiful way, right? Where And it also feels some of these people could be, let's say, older than you, but they act like children, period. That's the vibe coming through here. And okay, so we also have, yeah, you might cry in the corner by yourself for a second. You know what I mean? Like you might have your moment of breakdown. You're human. There is nothing wrong with that. That is normal. It is normal to have feelings. It is normal to have emotions about things. You know, you are you have the right to your emotions is what Spirit wants me to go ahead and say to you right now. Especially if you had a moment of you feel like you slipped up. You didn't slip up, boo-boo. That's a part of the healing process. You got to cry and let that ish out. And then after that, it's like the call bef af right after the storm. You know what I'm saying? Like the air is fresh. It's like, you know what? I feel a lot better. You know, you had that moment to yourself. And right now, you're not giving them the satisfaction of knowing these parts of yourself, that is, that is a sacred moment with you and the divine is a sad message for somebody. Okay. So also, yeah, you won't give them the satisfaction period. And we also have, uh, you know, where you stand with people, you know, where you stand with people. And it's like, just because you're doing good now and now they want to either a be buddy, buddy, or want a fake smile. It's like a lot of fake smiles. Like you just see it real quick. And before I feel like you used to go along with the charade with these fake smiles and trying to, you know, act nice with certain people. It's like, yeah, I gotta do, do as my grandma always says, bless her heart. She always says, put your Jesus face on, put your Jesus face on where you, you just smile. Right. But it's like behind the smile is it, they have that ugh, just toxic, rebuctified, like hatred in their heart. Especially some of these people could also be religious where it's like, oh, they're judging you for your spiritual practice. That's going to be a sad message for some of y'all. It's like, no, this I know what love is and that ain't it, right? It's that kind of vibe. It's the energy that's behind the front that you're finally realizing, like, I'm not going to fake it. I'm not going to fake it around people. I'm just going to be authentically me. And it's got them pressed, period. But the song that's coming through was Queen Irby, Underdog. I'm going to link that song down below so you can look it up. Okay, so you were always, like, underrated is what I'm hearing as well. Like, you were always underrated. You were always, like, looked over in situations. It's now, now it's fear saying, like, you stopped overlooking your power and, like, what you have to offer. Because what you have to offer is a gift. Remember that down below? I am the gift, period. Okay, so let's, oh yeah, I almost forgot, I always, always forget. So the overarching energies, we got some numerology cards. The first card that we had come through was the the card music. All right, so currently, that's coming back to that Queen Irby song, I want to say, like, you were always the underdog, and now here you are. The underdog is over it. The underdog is over the games. They're, uh, they're over the childish haters, you know what I'm saying? We also have happy ending coming through. So, especially if you had that tower moment, especially coming back with that three of swords, the moon, things were revealed to you, things were unearthed to you, and it was painful, a painful truth about situations and people's true colors, who they really are, right? And also, like, finally realizing, you know what, I'm a strong person to facing my fears, I'm a strong person for admitting the truth to myself or feeling those heavy emotions, because you're transmuting it, you're an alchemist, boo-boo. But this is a happy ending for you. Regardless of how it looks currently, Spirit wants me to let you know that life is like a pendulum and you are the center focus. And to the far right is all the good things in your life that could happen. And then all the, on the right left side, you have all of these like bad things that happen, right? So whenever you find yourself in a situation where you feel like everything is just, 
you know, like the worst of the worst is happening or you just keep either get rejected or, you know, like things are just glitching out, right? And it feels heavy and you've been praying and trying to manifest for this one thing. That's literally showing that the pendulum is about to go full throttle into the opposite side. It's literally like a pendulum, like, kind of like gravity, right? So if you're over here in this negative energy spirit saying, hold tight, boo-boo, because we going on this roller coaster and you about to go up period. Okay, affirm that down below. I'm about to go up, period. And you ain't coming back down this time. You taking off. This is a season where you're taking off. All right, so we also have rebirth after happy ending. It's rebirth season for you. So comment that down below. This is my rebirth season. No weapons for it against you shall prosper. And this is the battle of the mind that you got to overcome every day. You are worth it. Your dreams, your goals, your life's aspirations is worth it. You are worth it, period. So comment that down below. I am worth it. Okay, so let's get it popping with some more cards. So let's see what cards we go pull, Spirit. Let's get some of these uh, archetype cards come through, okay? Let's see some more about this energy, Spirit. Show me more about this energy. We have the Child Divine in the Reversal. An inability to defend oneself against negative forces. That's what it felt like. It's just, it felt like, you know, it was just you against the world. You against whoever. And now Spirit is saying, like, justice is here for you. You stay solid in yourself. You've been solid in yourself. God's her spirit has seen your cries. They have seen, you know, you, you know, sitting there taking the higher road in situations. You've taken the higher road. And that's all that matters. Because people who want to sit there and fight fire with fire or run people's name in the dirt. The athlete in the upright, it says dedication to transcending physical limits. Okay, so you got no limits. Comment that down below. I got no limits, period. You are limitless. All right, so you're transcending these physical obstacles. You know, that's your life story. Your life story is to overcome the heavy ish that people think is going to break you. They didn't realize it was going to make you, period. All right, so that including handicaps, development, of personal willpower and strength of spirit so regardless if like if, like i said you're going for being a victim to being victorious you are not a victim of your circumstance boo boo period you are victorious you are transcending what people always saw was a handicap with you whether it is either a your mental health ish or if you let's say you have adhd you don't know say it's given those types of vibes like just because you got something that's considered a handicap doesn't mean that you're defenseless or weak, right? That's the vibe coming through. And you're overcoming it. You're showing people that anything is possible. You are literally the blueprint to success. You are. The most successful people come from the roughest backgrounds. I just want to go ahead and remind you of that. That's the truth. And we have the hermit. Seek solitude to focus intently on inner life serves personal creativity. So this is this is where your magic is, is whenever you ha you don't attach your energy to other people's perception or what they got going on and just focus on growing what you got going on because what you got going on is special. Come on the down below. I am special. What I got going on is special. And we have the guide represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. So you are a divine guru. You're giving guru vibes, right? And it's like you have this natural ability to showcase and share with people like divine wisdom. But sometimes it'd be hard for you to listen to your own guidance, right? Because it's like you can, you have this beautiful gift of pulling the beauty out of other people. But Spirit is calling you this season to focus on yourself and be the guide, be the light for yourself. Talk to yourself how you would you know, your friend who needs life advice. It's given those kinds of energies because you have a lot of divine wisdom. You're very much tapped in. And it's fair to say that this season, you're going to be learning how to be your own best friend and you're going to start just up here embracing even maybe like your sensuality and your aesthetics going to be changing through this isolation period. And we do have the storyteller in the reversal on the, and trickster, y'all. Like I said, okay, so making up tales that harm others. Literally, with the trickster, is this transcending convention, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. So you're being unpredictable. Comment that down below. I'm unpredictable. Like, these people try to predict your life story, and here you are shattering that illusion. Literally, their brains are melted, is like I said. All right, so they're coming up with stories, you know, they were always intimidated by you, so they would make up false narratives of who you are. It's like, oh, you're a witch. You're, you know, oh, oh, you're a devil worshiper, or something like that. That's what it's feel like. That's just an example. Okay, don't take it literally if it don't apply. 
But over here, you're sitting here pulling your energy back and like this is where your magic and your focus should be. Because you are magical. Come on, I'm magical. You are. Okay, and like your energy is too beautiful to let people with nasty energy affect your sparkle. All right. You got what it takes. I just want to re reiterate that. You got what it takes. You do. You really do. Anything is possible with you. What other cards we go pull spirit? I'm going to get some of my own personal cards. Uh, Journey of the Empress Oracle. Okay. So spirit, tell me more about this energy. Comment this down below. I transcend all limitations. I transcend all limitations. Uh. Oh. Okay, so the spiritual baddie card did pop out in the reversal. So these people were trying, it's like energetic. I just feels like they were a lot of thoughts. Like their thoughts were transmuting to your thoughts, right? And they were trying to make you forget that you were a spiritual baddie, right? And it's like, wait, hold on. I got to wake up from this amnesia, this narcolepsy over here. Wake up, wake up. It's like spiritual narcolepsy that you experienced, right? And like now this season, you're going to be focused on self. To thine own self, be true with the self-love card, right? And wake it up. From that spiritual narcolepsy, from, you know, the the illusion of like, oh, you know, it's, a, it's an illusion. And I'm hearing like a dream state. Like it had you under a spell. You're breaking the spell currently with your self-love. And you outie. I'm out the door. Bye. Period. With the journey card. The scariest part is taking a step. Who in the world will I become next? So that's an energy of like, you're, you're becoming somebody new. You are. And you've transformed in front of their faces, is what Spirit's saying. And you are a spiritual baddie. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Spiritual warrior, you are destined to be. So this is part of your destiny. I'm getting Mulan vibes, honestly. Like, your energy, you're about to be a Mulan, the Disney version. And fire, look. Focus on the goal, tunnel vision, and feed the fire. It's synchronicity coming through. You could have fire in your chart. Your fire is being activated. Comment that down below. I'm being activated. My fire is being activated, period. A fire bird within her bones. A passion yearning to accomplish her goals. So you have a lot of this energy. And it's weird saying don't sleep on that energy because then it gets stagnant and then you get a little depresso espresso. We got to uh, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay. So we're saying wake up. Anything else for this deck, spirit? Yeah, you just got to do a little shake it, shake it. You know what I'm saying? You got to wake up. And we have the signs. We have the signs card. So right now, pay attention to the signs. It says, numbers, feathers, and pennies from above. Follow the hums, soft as a dove. So that means through this isolation period, that's why you're being, your energy is being called to pull back a little bit. So you can listen, right? Because having discernment, okay, is this my voice or is this their voice? It's giving those types of vibes. Bottom of the deck, we have the glow up card, boo-boo. Okay, so we have glow up and we have... It's giving Princess Diaries glow up coming through twice. So this is your life story is to rise, rise. Spirit say rise, wake up, okay? You ain't got time to be, you know, just thinking about these haters who slept on you. It's like they're seeing it right now in front of their face. And that's the reason why they're expelling like this negative energy towards you. Boo-boo, rebuctified. Go ahead, rebuctified, period. This is your glow up season. Comment that down below. This is my glow up season, period. Time went by and she finally sees she became the queen she was meant to be. Period. You are a queen. You are that bitch. So let's go ahead and get it popping with some final. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to get some more cards. We're going to extend it. It's going to be a long reading. <laughs> All right, tell me more about this energy spirit. Yeah, the grieving card. See, you had to. See, there's a butterfly here. This is showing me like you had to grieve the old. You had to grieve that caterpillar caterpillar season you went through you know you're no longer the caterpillar is what spirit saying you are the butterfly now and it's time for you to fly it's time for you to fly you've had your time to let let go and release and if you haven't go ahead and do that i know you, you've been holding in a lot because you're strong you know you don't back down you go and get the bag you you show up every day you pay your bills you know what i'm saying like you do the thing the spirit saying, like, I know if there's that part of yourself that wishes, like, either, A, you got that recognition or that you were understood in situations, right? Or that you got some help, right? It's like, I'm a baddie, but damn, can somebody help me, please? Let's give me those types of vibes. Like, spirit saying, just release it, let it go, and cry. Let it go. Release, let go like frozen, right? And then after you let go, know that the only help that you need is the ones in the ether, right? That's all you need. That's your spirit team. 
They're rooting you on. They're the ones that give you strength every day to keep getting up. Who show you the little signs that you're on the right path. Okay, they show you the little signs. Maybe it's hearts. I see hearts. That's my sign. If I see little hearts, well, hey, <laughs> they say they love me. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on to that. Hold on to that truth is what I want to say today. Okay? Where'd that dead go? <laughs> Y'all, the ADHD is strong with this one. Okay. <laughs> Gotta let it go like Frozen. Maybe go listen to that song from Frozen. I love that song. Thanks. Oh, y'all, we got justice three times. Spirit's saying there is nothing to worry about. They got you. God's got you. Period. Things are getting back into balance. And those who did you dirty, who had you make you made you feel some sort of way. Making you not feel like you're not yourself, like not self. This is not self. You know what I'm saying? This energy that you were in, feeling heavy, that is not self. That is not you. That is not the truth of who you are. Okay? It don't matter what happened, what you did, what you came from, who did what, when, where, why, how, right? It don't matter. What you are is love. What you are is divine. Okay? Cover the down below. I am divine. Period. That's what you are. You are divine and you're getting divine intervention. All right? This is a season of divine intervention. Guys, your spirit fights your battles for you. That's what's coming through here. You ain't got to lift a finger. You ain't got to do no spell work. You ain't got to do nothing. All you got to do is breathe and go sit and look pretty. That's all you got to do. And lighten your load. Like I said, let it go. Okay? Just release it and know things are coming into balance for you. And I'm hearing that it's going to be worth it. You showing up every day, it's going to be worth it. You are worth the investment is what we were saying here. Anything else from this deck, Spirit? And forgiveness. All right. It just feels like forgiveness of self. It feels like forgiveness of self is what I'm feeling here. Tell me more about this energy, Spirit, with the forgiveness energy. It's psychic abilities. Look, this, you're... Okay, so back to that science card that we had over here. Where's it at? There it is. There were times that you were not picking up on the red flags. And I feel like you were you were harboring a lot of get, guilt for not seeing the red flags when they were there. Because you were under this illusion, under this spell. And it's like now you're seeing the red flags in situations. So you're saying like what you learned was discernment in these situations with folks who was, you know, either scrubs, people who hurt you, right? That energy is coming back to the surface. Maybe not getting those apologies, what have you. You don't need it. You don't need the apology. You didn't. You know what? If I'm hearing this as a side message for somebody. So if they didn't come to apologize to you, like they don't know they they don't I don't know how to word this. Let me let me like back it up. If they cared, they would have apologized to you already. You'll know say like their priorities is elsewhere. That's a side message for somebody, and you are worth the investment. You are worthy. And just because somebody did it like who bumped into you in life didn't see what they did to you. They're ignorant. Seriously, these people are ignorant. You dealt with a lot of ignorant people. And like now, you're you're not in that energy. Like you're very much aware. You're aware and your discernment is stronger. Okay? So have grace with yourself for not catching it back then. That's what I'm hearing. Like have grace with yourself for not catching the red flags on time. Like I know it would have been easier if, if let's say we all knew everything that was going to, you know, transpire in the future, right? But if we didn't know what was going on, we didn't catch all the red flags, you know. That was teaching us to strengthen our intuition is what I'm hearing. So, also just heard immune system for some reason. Something about the immune system. Okay, so, so we're saying you were a lot more stronger in your intuition because of the harsh experiences that you went through, right? That's why now you can sniff a fake person from a mile away. You real quick now. And you stopped sleeping on your psychic abilities. All right, so have grace with that past version, the caterpillar that you used to be, and know that the butterfly is taken off this season, right? They did not expect this from you at all. They thought you was going to be dead in a ditch, or they thought that you was just going to repeat those karmic ass things, you know what I'm saying? No, we ain't doing that. Not today, Satan. Rebuked bad. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have the spirit guide, because you're always led, you're always guided. They got you. Spirit got you, Okay. They thought they had the upper hand. I beg to differ. Okay. So let's go ahead and get it popping with some final advice. Y'all already know. Spirit, what final advice do you have for the spiritual baddie watching this today? Oh, it's a lot of cards. Come and say. Okay, we're going to 
still waiting for one to pop out. Come on now, let's pop it out. <laughs> Gracias. Okay, what we got? I stay true to myself and my desires. Ooh, to thine own self be true, like I said, synchronicity. I stay true to myself and my desires. It says, what is it that I truly want? Okay, so what is it that I truly want? How am I working towards what I want? So how am I working towards what I want, right? You got what you desire, but you got to work towards it. What do you truly want, right? And what are you doing today going towards that, right? You, every day you got to take one step and the universe will meet you tenfold. It's spiritual law. It happens. So don't give up. Do not give up on yourself and breathe life into your dreams. Continue to breathe life into your dreams. And also, yes, they got this salty that you do with so. So let's get it popping with some Bob Ross and already low. Okay. All right, Bob. What's up? Oh, that was fast. Okay, so we have the three of hearts. Three of cups, given those kinds of vibes. Okay. We just show you how. But you make the decisions. When you have this much power, you have to make big decisions. I'm going to read that again. Okay. We just show you how. But you make the decisions. When you have this much power, okay, you got a lot of power, boo boo, you have to make big decisions. So, this is about continue to be the adult in the room, take action, take responsibility for yourself, for your emotions, and put up your walls, your fire hedge of protection, right? So, you have the discernment is this me? This is not me. I did not call for this. Release it, let it go, is what I'm hearing. Okay, but also, you know, the universe, your guys could give you the signs back to that science card. But it's up to you to follow it through, okay? So it's up to you to follow it through. You got this. You got what it takes to follow this through, period. Bottom of the deck, we have, you have to have dark in order to show light, just like in life. So you have to have dark in order to show light. That's just how it is with life. Like I said with that pendulum, you over here in this dark energy, boo -boo, that just means that's a reflection that it's about to get 10 times better. Right, we on the pendulum over here. We about to swing on on high, period. So that's the reading I have for you, darling. I'm sending you so much love. Just sending that to you. Put your little hands on the little little computer or whatever you watch it on, tablet, phone. <laughs> I got you. I love you. God's first has got you. You know, I'm here to breathe life back into you. Okay, so if this breathes some life into you, feel free to like, share, comment. Okay, I do have a cash app. Okay, it's down below. You ain't got to, but it's appreciated, okay? I love you so much. You have a blessed and wonderful day. That's all.